गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग गिव मी योर रेज्यूम सो यू आर रुचिता राइट यस मैम ओके रुचिता टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर दिस गिविंग ऑपर्चुनिटी टेन डे डेज माई माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज रुचिता आई एम बेसिकली फ्रॉम आंध्र प्रदेश बट करेंटली स्टेइंग इन हैदराबाद आई डिड मई ग्रैड्युएशन बी कॉम डिग्री फ्रम एगुवेमन यूनिवर्सीटी जमल मड़गू मई स्ट्रेंथ आर् ई सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड अंड हार्ड वर्किंग मई शार्ट टर्म गोल ईज टू गेट ए जॉब ए रेप्यूटेड कंपनी मई लांग टर्म गोल ईज टू अचीव ए गुड पोजिशन मई हाबी सर listen to music and cooking i belong to your nuclear family that's all about me thanks again for this opportunity okay ruchita well you mentioned your technical skills of dot net right yes ma'am so what is dot net first of all dot net stands for extensible network enable technology dot net is a framework tool it was introduced by microsoft organization in the year of 2000 The main aim of .NET is used to when you can build web application and distributed application, examples console application, Windows application, MSC application. Okay, Rishita. What are the advantages features of .NET? .NET is used to different kinds of applications like console application, MSC application, Windows application, and web services. Windows Communication Foundation, Windows Presentation Foundation. it will suppose to inter language operability it will dot net will suppose to multiple programming language dot net will suppose to drag and drop option you can develop the application is very faster enhancement and maintenance of the dot net is very easy okay good so is dot net is platform dependent or independent rishita dot net is initially dependent dependent means dot net application only run in windows operating system whenever a uh, novel organization was tie up with microsoft that like uh, platform is independent independent means irrespective any operating system dot net application is, will run okay so briefly explain the code execution process of dot net clr uh, process of the two te- two steps uh, build and debugging dot net is supporting 60 plus programming language uh, 60 plus programming language any language uh, you can use it to write the code that is called source code so common language runtime can understand only microsoft intermediate language in microsoft so language compiler is used to convert source code into microsoft intermediate language that is called build process operating system can understand only negative code negative code by within that operating system uh, operating system is negative by cl it's common language runtime common language runtime contains jit just in time compiler that is called debugging process okay rachita so what is the uh, what is language interoperability language operability can be converted into one other languages some other language on the display output that is called language interoperability okay so do you know about boxing and unboxing ruchita boxing converting value type variables into reference type variables that is called boxing unboxing is uh, converting reference type variables into value type variables that is called unboxing okay So, what is the full form of GC? GC stands for Garbage Collector. It will provide three services. It will provide automatic memory management to our application. It will provide security to our application. It will categorize variables into two types: user variables and unused variables. It keep the user variables and uh, remove the unused variables. Okay. So, how many methods of console are there? Two methods. What are they? Write method, write line method. Okay, explain about them. Write method is is used to you can display the test. Cursor is blinking at end of your test. Write line method is used to you can display the output. Cursor is blinking at new line of next line. Okay, which that do we use loops in dot net? Use. Okay, why are we using loops in dot net? If you want a particular statement again and again or repeat the 
at the time of you will go for loops loops is list of uh, four types while loop do while for for each loop in loops and why are we using loops in dotnet oops stands for object oriented programming language the main aim of oops security to our application if we were discussing everything standard that is like class variable method object a class object variable method can you explain about all of them kushita uh, class is a user defined reference type data type class creating syntax access mode for class class m example public class employee method is a reusability it will pro simply our project into small small pieces method is creating syntax uh, access mode for return type method name public wide display uh, object uh, means a blueprint of class object creating syntax class name object name equals to new class name have a nice day have a nice day thank you thank you ma